Attention, everyone, it's time to celebrate because the moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. In this exclusive video, we bring you the most exciting news that will have a profound impact on your financial well-being. Get ready to witness a historic event as we reveal the long-awaited signing of the SSDI and SSI checks. But that's not all. Brace yourself for even more good news. We have just received confirmation of a significant social security raise that will uplift countless lives. This raise is a testament to the government's commitment to supporting those who rely on these vital programs. It's a game changer that will provide much needed relief and stability to individuals and families across the nation. But wait, there's more. Prepare to be blown away by the announcement of an extraordinary $2,000 stimulus check. Yes, you heard it right. This unexpected windfall is set to inject a massive boost into the economy and provide a lifeline to those who have been struggling during these challenging times. Welcome to Social Security, your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and Social Security. The Bunny administration has made a significant announcement regarding a pay boost for American workers. As part of the implementation of the Inflation Reduction Act, officials state that over a million Americans will receive substantial paychecks due to a new update. President Biden aims to increase wages for construction workers on federally funded projects, a move that will resonate with a key constituency ahead of next year's election. This initiative has the potential to narrow the pay gap between northern and southern states. The Biden administration plans to reinstate the prevailing wage definition that was abandoned four decades ago by Ronald Reagan. This update will change how the prevailing wage is calculated and could result in thousands of additional dollars in the pockets of construction crews working on federal projects. Even Kamala Harris acknowledged at an event in Philadelphia that many workers are currently being paid far less than they deserve, sometimes missing out on thousands of dollars. This announcement comes as the Biden administration continues to invest billions of dollars into new clean energy projects through the Inflation Reduction Act. These investments will not only improve infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, but also create more job opportunities. The Laborers International Union of North America has praised this update as it will protect the wages of millions of workers, including construction workers. Prevailing wages refer to the hourly rate of pay and benefits provided to workers in a specific area. Prior to Reagan's changes in the 1980s, employers were required to pay construction workers on federal projects wages equivalent to at least 30% of workers' wages. Reagan altered this rule, making the prevailing wage determined by the wages paid to 50% of workers. The Biden administration plans to restore the previous definition ensuring that the prevailing wage on federal projects aligns more closely with union-scale wages. Senior officials have stated that this update will raise the minimum wage requirement and impact over a million construction workers. Analysts predict that workers in the South and Southwestern states will benefit the most from this change, as these regions typically have lower wages and fewer union protections. However, trade groups opposing the change argue that it will increase the cost of federal projects, ultimately burdening taxpayers. While some analysts have expressed concerns about the impact on government finances, with the U.S. government debt projected to rise by $5 billion every day for the next 10 years, the Bunny administration remains committed to addressing wage disparities and investing in infrastructure to stimulate economic growth. According to the latest CBR report, if every American citizen were to receive $15 each morning, the national debt would skyrocket to 90% of the U.S. GDP, reaching $180 by 2053. This level of debt rivals what we saw during the crisis in 2020. Now, let's discuss what actions Joe Biden might take regarding the fourth stimulus payment. Do you think he can accomplish this task within the year? Share your thoughts in the comments. It is disappointing to witness elected American officials engaging in theatrics. Such behavior is unbecoming and serves as a distraction from the real threats faced by America, Israel, and our Arab friends in the Middle East. I hope that the conversation between the two presidents focused on addressing these threats. Unfortunately, the growth of threats to our shared interests can be attributed, in large part, to the naive approach of the Boston Biden administration towards the world's largest state sponsor of terror. It is crucial to support funding for local police and communities across the country. However, progressives have expressed concerns about the infrastructure deal, as it excludes key priorities. Democratic leaders in Congress plan to combine a bipartisan bill with a larger reconciliation bill in order to advance Joe Biden's agenda in its entirety. House Budget Committee Chairman John Yarmuth recently stated that Speaker Pelosi is unwavering in her demand for the Senate to pass the House's reconciliation bill before the lower chamber considers the $1, 2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. Speaking to reporters after a House caucus meeting, Yarmuth emphasized Pelosi's commitment to passing a second infrastructure measure that focuses on Democrats' broad policy priorities. Joe Biden has divided his Build Back Better proposal into two packages for Congress to pass. The first package, the American Jobs Plan concentrates on infrastructure, 
while the second package, the American Families Plan, aims to fund Democrats' domestic policy platform. It is worth noting that over 80 members of Congress have urged President Biden to support recurring direct cash payments and enhanced unemployment compensation for Americans until the end of the crisis. Additionally, there is a proposal for automatic stabilizers, which would allow these programs to be deployed again without the need for legislative action if certain economic triggers are met. When Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen testified before the House Ways and Means Committee last week to discuss the White House's 2022 budget proposal, she was questioned about these measures. Secretary Yellen acknowledged that stimulus checks can be an effective approach and expressed a willingness to collaborate on exploring the economic implications further. Per month, and over a third of senior citizens rely on Social Security as their primary source of income. Our focus should be on expanding benefits rather than cutting them. We must strengthen Social Security to support those who depend on it. A group of Democratic lawmakers, including Ron Wyden, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders, recently sent a letter to the president urging the continuation of cash payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions tied to economic conditions. These lawmakers recognize the ongoing challenges faced by millions of Americans due to the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. By advocating for recurring cash payments and extended unemployment insurance, they aim to provide much-needed financial support to individuals and families who continue to struggle. In a separate letter, Members of the House Ways and Means Committee joined the call for additional stimulus measures. They emphasized the importance of building upon the American Rescue Plan's provisions, particularly the $1,400 stimulus checks, which have already proven effective in lifting 11 million people out of poverty this year. However, they argue that more needs to be done to address the persistent economic hardships faced by millions of Americans. The lawmakers highlight that the combination of the direct cash payments and the expansion of unemployment insurance, along with other provisions in the bill, could potentially lift an additional 5 million people out of poverty. This demonstrates the significant impact that targeted financial assistance can have on reducing poverty rates and improving economic stability. Moreover, the lawmakers propose the possibility of a fourth and fifth round of stimulus checks, which could potentially keep an additional 12 million people out of poverty. By providing ongoing financial support, they aim to ensure that individuals and families have the means to meet their basic needs and maintain a certain level of economic security. The Urban Institute a respected research organization, has estimated that direct cash payments alone could reduce the number of people living in poverty from 44 million to 16 million in 2021, representing a reduction of at least 6, 4 percent. This highlights the significant impact that direct financial assistance can have on alleviating poverty and improving the overall well-being of individuals and communities. Economists and experts in the field have also voiced their support for direct cash payments as an essential tool for economic recovery. In an open letter, these experts argue that such payments not only boost economic security but also drive consumer spending, which in turn stimulates economic growth. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.